really, really slippery, covered in moss, really greasy. There's only one way out. in Panama on the hunt for the legendary El Camino Real trail but I've come up against an 80-foot waterfall and my only way out is down probably my best bet is to use some of these vines look you see them growing straight out of the bank and here as well and these then run along and down the waterfall, they're reaching out for the water. Give me a climb up any day. I love them. But down climbing is much riskier. This vine reaches all the way down through the white water. And this should be strong enough. OK, let's give this a go. got to take it very carefully and first steps are crucial. One slip and you'd be washed off the flimsy vine onto the rocks below. The waterfall is swollen with rainwater from the mountains. It's a gnarly descent and now I'm committed there's no way back. The torrent is trying to pound me off the vine. It's like being battered by a huge water cannon. My muscles are starting to cramp up, but I've got no choice. I've just got to cling on for dear life. If you lose it here, you'll bounce down the rocks like a rag doll. Running out of time and running out of vine. Oh, God. Oh. The vines are, you can see where the vines coming to an end. Just down here. I was hoping it would reach all the way. If I can just swing off the vine and onto the ledge, I can work my way round to the pool. But these wet rocks are like an ice rink, and I've no idea how deep that pool is at the bottom. situations like that, the body goes into overdrive, and overdrive expends energy. And whenever you come across bits of dead wood, that's always a good place to rummage around for like grubs and stuff that are tucking into it. <laughs> <laughs> 